Someone posted these photos of a Pokeball iPhone case on a message board, and I was quite jealous. I wanted one too. So I found a plain one to download and imported it into SketchUp. Once imported, I used the cleanup extension to clean up all those extra lines. It did a great job. You can find this extension at the extension warehouse. Next, I drew guidelines at center points. Then I used the circle tool to draw the button. Here I'm using the rectangle tool to draw the bar. And I'll erase all the overlapping geometry. I want to rotate this to make it easier to work with, and I'll group it first, which makes it easier to rotate. Then I'll explode the group, as I don't need it to be grouped anymore. Now just push-pull all the parts up. They look kind of thick, so I'll adjust them down. And there you have it. Export it as an STL and print. I chose to print this standing up because I was having too many problems with the supports when the case was angled as Mesh Mixer automatically oriented it. You can see all the supports on it and they just seem to work better this way than when the case was angled. Here's the end result. The supports came off real well and I sanded them a bit and I coated it with Ecstasy 3D to make a smooth surface to paint on.